Hi, this is Pedia Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com, and this is tutorial 133. So let's go ahead and open up Unity. And I'll also open up Mono Develop. And we'll go back into Unity. And when we left off, we had actually just gotten the icon and names working according to the file in our resources.load method. So there they are right there. Uh, let's go ahead and set it up so that they display properly in our inventory next. And then we'll start working around with the the uh, GUI style to assign a nice little background for it. So I'll go back into Mono Develop, and it's a pretty simple fix to get it display in our inventory properly. We'll come down to the inventory window, and in the if block here, where we're checking to see if we have an item, and if we do, we display its name. But now instead of displaying the name. We're going to display its icon. IntelliSense is still not working. Let me just check to make sure all these are... I probably should reload them back up. I don't need chests anymore. I, I don't need any of these anymore. We'll just quickly close those down. Alright, so let's save that off. I'm going to go back into Unity. I'm going to start it back up. And now when I pick the items up, they should appear by their icon in my inventory. So I'll quickly gobble them up. And there we go, they're displaying and we're getting our tooltips. Great. So now let's start taking a look at the GUI style I'm using. Again, I've gone over this, but I'll just quickly go over it again. I've gone down to the bottom and created uh, some custom styles here. And the ones I'm going to be using here, I have uh, inventory slot empty. And I have inventory slot common for items that are common. And for now, I'm just having all my items be common. I'll work on rarity a little bit later on. I'd rather get the whole system working, then come back and change the types. But those are really the only ones I'm going to be working with right now. So you can call them whatever you want. Just make sure that you're using the right name in, in your script. So let's head back into Mono Develop, And I'm only going to be working with the, my GUI script here. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is uh, set a reference for the GUI. So if we come up to the top, you know, I've already done that at the top. We've gone over this before, so you should know how to assign a skin. But anyway, I, I make a reference here to my skin so I can drag and drop it in in the inspector. I'm going to come down to my uh, on GUI function. And at the top, I tell it, you know, hey, use this skin. And that'll work for everything that's actually in the on GUI. But it's not going to work for the windows that we're defining down here. And there's a couple ways you can get around it. One is to define uh, a new... GUI, uh, I forget what it's called already. And there's a couple ways to get around it. One is just to actually put GUI.skin up here and define it in here as well. And that's the way I've done it. And another way is to have a you know your own define a, a style up here and then grab that style from the skin and put it in. I find just adding the skin at the top works great. It's one line, don't have to worry about anything. But I'm going to go ahead and design the empty slot up here. Or Sorry, it won't be the empty slot, it'll be the common slot. So I'm going to come down to my for loop here. And I'm going to comment out this debug. So I don't need to know what the tooltip says anymore. And I'm going to go to the end where we put our style. And I should just be able to put a comma. Uh, was it this one? And it's going to be right after our GUI content, so that's right here. And we're going to define a new, uh, well, define the the name of the style we want to use off that skin. And for me, I've called it inventory uh, slot common, I believe it was again. So I'm going to close this off. It makes it a little harder when IntelliSense isn't working, but that's fine. We'll start it back up, and now we should get the common background that I've already set up for all my items. And there we go. Now, of course, I'll want some uncommon backgrounds and some rare and epic and legendary and crafted and you know all the, all the different backgrounds that we're going to be using. 
which are basically going to be the exact same thing with just a different color tint probably for me anyway. Uh, you can get real fancy and make different shapes for the background and, and whatnot, but that's exactly how I want it to be for now. And when we add them to the inventory, they're not there yet. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust that in the inventory as well. So I'll come back to Mono Develop. I'm going to go down to our inventory window function. And there's two I'm going to do here. The first one is for the empty one, which is in our little else block here. And I believe I call that empty inventory slot. And then we'll want to do the one for the actual item as well, which should be right here, which I called inventory slot common. So I'll save that off, head back in Unity. I'm just going to quickly check. Inventory slot empty is what I call it. Well, it wouldn't actually be one of my tutorials if I didn't make at least one typo. There we go. So let's go ahead and try this out. It loads up. There's no errors. And we'll go open up a pack slot or open up a chest. And you'll notice I have the empty inventory slot things working right. So I'll go ahead and open them up. And there we go. So I'll save that off. And that's pretty much about all we have to do to get the actual style and look that we want. There's a few other things you're going to want to create down here in your custom styles. Uh, one being, of course, you know, the, the outside of the loot window, or basically the box. So when you open it up, I've got one assigned, but I still got to play with it a bit. So it's basically, you know, instead of you, I'm just using a standard box right now. Uh, I'd like to style that up a little bit. I've already got my close button done. Uh, the inventory window itself, you know, this part out, the outside part here. Uh, I'm just using the standard windowed one. Uh, don't really like the the look of it, but like I said, it's, it's pretty easy. You just create the graphic, drag it in. And of course, you want to create a different graphic for each one of these that you actually want to use. Let me see, I've got my clothes one done. Now, a lot of people had a lot of problems trying to get their health bar centered properly using uh, GUI texture. So I'm actually going to include uh, an on GUI version of the health bar, stamina bar, and mana bar. And it's a lot easier than using GUI textures. If you prefer to use the texture, by all means, go ahead. But I am going to probably put them into the on GUI. Since I am going to be using on GUI, might as well just add them here anyway. And let's see, inventory slot empty, we've already got. There's going to be more that we want. I'm going to want an auto attack button. Uh, backpack button. There's going to be a lot of different GUI elements that we'll be adding along the way. But that should be enough to get you started, at least uh, creating your custom styles. And I believe I've showed before, it's just like the input manager if you want to add more. So if I'm going to add another one, I'll just increase this to 9. It copies the one, whatever was above it. And you just open it up and just change whatever it is you want to put in there. And make sure you don't have uh, two named the same. I haven't actually tried naming two of the same, so I'm not exactly sure what would happen. At, uh, at best, it would probably just be confused and not sure which one to pick and maybe only pick the first one. But just keep them, make sure they're all, all named just something different. But anyway, I'm going to call this video done. It's a short one. And I guess next we we'll want to start working on our player character panel and start getting our stats to display there and create places where we can start equipping items. So I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.